some red light therapy. We're gonna get our joints feeling good. We're gonna get some energy. We're gonna be feeling so good. So our stand. It's the stand for the red light. So we have gotten a infrared and red light panel. I did months of research. Like I think I've been thinking about this for like six months now. And this one is probably like the golden standard. There's two brands that people recommend, this being one of them. Device is configured in Bluetooth. Please in, in Bluetooth. Device is config read manual before use. Device is configured in Bluetooth follow mode. Okay. And I tried to get the full kind of like panel. Let's let's see how we set it up. I usually try like not to read this panel, but I know it's not good. But you just have the outlet, obviously. And the manual. So Jew. So this is the solo three. So let's see how we set it up. Settings there because I know it has red and it has near infrared. Hello, so as you saw this morning, I unboxed my new red light, which I'm so excited about. So, okay, also, like, welcome to the vlog. I was ready to like say the introduction. Welcome, welcome back. Um, welcome. We have a really fun vlog today, if I don't say so myself. Um, but I kind of want to talk about why I got a red light. I've been thinking about it for like six months now. I already had a red light face mask, which I got um, one on Amazon, it had amazing reviews, and it works really great because red, just red light is really great for your skin, so I'll tell you kind of like the difference. Um, it's really great for healing the skin, it stimulates collagen, brightness, you do have to use it consistently, and of course, I'm not sure on the exact strength of that mask, but it does work, like I can guarantee it, I can link it down below, there's also so many, like I think there's like thousands of reviews uh, of people who also had great experiences with it, it has blue light for bacteria, all that kind of stuff. For me, as you know, I do pole. Pole is very intense on the whole body, especially when you're doing aerial stuff. So a lot of stuff I do are those inverts and crazy flips and stuff like that, which if you wanna see that kind of stuff, I post it on my Instagram. It's hard for me to include it in vlogs because I can't put the audio on it. So like, just go to my Instagram, okay? <laughs> um, and it's a lot of my body. And my massage therapist was saying yesterday, she was like, the way that you do pole and the amount, the amount that you do is like, you're training like an athlete and you need to really focus your body and your recovery like an athlete would and I feel like I already do that in terms of like I'm really great I feel like or do a great good job and my husband's really good at nutrition um, and supplements and sleep and all those amazing things but and like Epsom salt baths magnesium salt baths but one thing I really was noticing is like my body be really achy after intense pull and I was like really looking into red light therapy but specifically I wanted to get like if I was going to invest in a red light panel you I talked about before I'm going to get the best one like I'm not just going to get like, one to try to, I don't want to waste my money right so I would rather get like the nicest one and invest in that and have that hopefully for like a lifetime or a really long time and then just get one that like kind of works kind of sort of doesn't work and then it's like I invested my money in it and it like kind of works kind of doesn't do you know what I mean? So that's why I was like kind of thinking about it for a long time because definitely like if you I want to do like a bit tall panel it definitely is kind of an investment and at the time there's like two leading brands one is Juve and I forgot the other name and I watch a lot of reviews people prefer this one I have no affiliation with them this is sponsored I bought it myself but if I find like a coupon code I will gladly share with you because 
it's kind of a lot so i feel like any percentage off is good um but then again we divide the cost per use like to go for example we in la have this thing called pause it's like a wellness place where you can go like do cryo you can do float uh like it's like a big float they put like 11 or 12 thousand pounds of salt and you float it's a sensory deprivation tank essentially that's what it is saunas and like literally the sauna is like 90 dollars for two people so just like just that cost per use like and yes and also i have a sauna blanket which i should use more my massage therapist told me that for the amount i'm working out i should be using it three times a week i was like oh i use it like once every seven months <laughs> i use my sauna blanket more and i'll link the sauna blanket i have it's actually also from amazon it's really really great but essentially um I was like the 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 infrared thing although it's an investment like your cost per use is going to be so good if you use it like daily like it's not it's almost like not even a joke but it's like if you use it every single day even for a year it's already worth it and it's really easy to incorporate into your daily routine so anyway after doing a lot of research i had my eye and finally i was so sore i think it was last week yeah was it last week or the week before i think it was last week i was so sore where finally i was like that's it i'm ordering the red light like because of whenever you're working your muscles a lot it's obviously a lot in your body and so to kind of soothe that inflammation the red light and near infrared light it's important it has both so just red light is really great for skin so that's what's going to penetrate like into your skin layers just red light near infrared light nri is going to go into the, the muscle tissue and really help your muscles recover so if you were to like use the light from your red light mask on your body it would only really kind of it's not not going to absorb that deeply it's more just going to kind of help the skin topical layer but i really want something that's going to get my muscles so i got this one and also months ago they never had just a stand they had like a rolling stand so i was going to just buy it with the rolling stand but it just didn't resonate i'm so glad i waited this is just like living intuitively trusting your body something about it didn't click for me i had it like in my cart months ago but like i was gonna buy it but i was just like oh i just hate that it doesn't have like a standing stand and i didn't want to get the ones that go on the wall on the door i just don't like that i get it like it works for some people but if like a wellness room you can put them on the door i just it didn't that just didn't resonate with me and now I went on when I went last week, they had a standing stand which you saw I installed. It's called like a boot. And they had a really great panel size. It's like maybe I can show it to you, right? I showed it to you before. It's like pretty tall. So if you sit in front of it, just like so you can see, it's really hitting amazingly. Like, I mean, like it's if you sit right in front of it, it's like pretty amazing coverage. And I sit on it in front of it like nude. So that it's pretty much getting all my face, my front, my everything and i also probably would do 10 minutes on the back i would sit like this and get 10 minutes on the back and yeah and i'm trying this morning and i really loved it maybe it's a placebo effect obviously right i was really excited and i wanted to get it and i hyped it up but i was really excited for me it's really easy to incorporate because i meditate in the morning and I usually have an evening wind down practice i'm not always as consistent with it but I can really easily incorporate this into my morning meditation or my evening. I'm going to do a thing before bed. I kind of want to do it twice a day, like I want to do it in the morning and evening, but I know I'll at least incorporate it in the evening every day and also like my husband as well, he can use it too. So I'm really excited. And so this is like so aligned. Right now I'm going to pull, but my friend and I are trying flying pull. So flying pull is like for the experts <laughs> or the advanced advanced. So it's a pull, but it's flying. I'll vlog it. It's attached to like a ceiling and it flies around. So you can imagine the strength you need to do pull. So here it's way more strength required because you don't have that center of gravity. And normally when you're climbing on stationary pole, you can maintain your center of gravity. Here you're like swinging uh, around while you're on the pole. So obviously it requires way more strength. I've never done it. We've been wanting to do it, so we're gonna go today. We have the, we're into the studio for two hours, so we're gonna play around, see what we can do. I wanna do some climbs, I wanna do some inwards. I wanna see what it feels like on my body. I already know it's gonna be intense on my body tomorrow, probably. So that's why it's such divine timing, the red light came. Um, and we, I also wanna try some double stuff with my friend. She's a Sagittarius, so she's pretty brazy. So that's gonna be really fun, and I'll bring you guys along. I actually have to head out right now because of traffic. So this is like, Kind of a wild day. We're gonna have so much fun. Let's go. Just flying poles. These are the flying poles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number one. Number two. Little outfit. These bodysuits are like so intense. <laughs> no, I, I keep it zipped up really tight. <laughs> the only way. No, so as you just saw, I we I just did flying pole. It is so much harder than regular pole, and pole itself is already hard. If you've ever taken, it's so funny. This is like 
a, a funny thing to say, but I feel like you watch pull videos and you're like, it can't be that hard. And then like you go try and record yourself and you're like, oh. <laughs> I don't know, you watch it and you're like, oh, it looks so smooth. First of all, like just being smooth is very, takes so much practice. It takes so much discipline to like take classes and stretch and because pull requires not only, I think most people like see this, but not only requires endurance because like I remember back when I first started and I was like, I would say, in, you know, I was already working out consistently pretty much daily and even when I first started I the endurance like if I climbed and did one trick I would get exhausted and now I can stay on and do like I don't know I probably could do like I could stay on for a significantly longer amount of time essentially and in terms of smoothness it just requires learning more and more and more sequences like you just have to take more and more and more and more classes because that's what's going you're gonna essentially all like puzzle pieces that's why i love teaching melt shameless self promo but genuinely because it's just like the more puzzle pieces you have when you put together and you're freestyling you just have more moves to go to if you only know one move that's a twirl around the pole you're going to be doing that twirl on a lot if that's all you got you know you have one puzzle piece but if you know like a twirl you know a pirouette and an around the world and like you know like 20 moves then when you dance you can see how that's going to make it look better anyway the hardest part of the flying pole is the mount not the it's not hard but it takes so much energy so in order to get start get it to start spinning i'll insert some clips like after i talk to get it to start spinning you essentially are going to go on the toe of one foot bracket grip the hands so like if you're going to spin on your right toe your right arm would be bracket grip your left arm would be above so the arm you're going to press into at least this is for me how i did it the arm that you press into so for me, that'd be like the lower arm, the right arm is gonna be the same foot that's your that you're uh, spinning on. So if I'm on my go ahead, that'd be nice. Go ahead, come on, chop chop. If I'm gonna go ahead and be on my right toe, then I'm gonna push with my bracket grip into the pole with my right hand, right? Um, and then you create like a really strong momentum. So now like you have centripetal force that's like spinning you. Like not only are you spinning, but the pole is spinning. So like you have a lot of different like forces that you're kind of fighting against. When you're normally climbing on pole, it's like you it's you have an easier center point of gravity, and you're only really fighting like that centripetal force essentially during like inverts, which you get used to, you get strong, and then it becomes honestly no problem after. I mean, it takes a while. Like again, I don't want to project, but it takes time to get strong, right? Depending on you, a lot of factors, it's going to be different for everyone, but essentially you kind of get used to that. But here, like you're spinning and the pole spinning. So it's like so much force you're fighting when you're inverting, it's wild. So like you get kind of tired from the like momentum build and then you have to have so much, like, really engage like the whole body, the whole core as you climb. And if you do inverts, like, oh my God, just it was a lot of like, I was like, whoa, I'm fighting a lot of other forces right now. Gravity <laughs> being one of them. Um, and the poles are silicone, so that's kind of like how, how you grip them. If they were metal, it would be very dangerous because like they're flying and if you slip, you're done though. I know they do have fly, uh, metal ones. I've only seen them like, I feel like from videos of people in Europe or something. I've, I don't know where it was, but I have seen them. They do have them, but it's the, probably the most dangerous because you can imagine like your palms get sweaty. You know, like, your palms are sweaty, your knees are, you know, whatever. <laughs> that song, like your palms get sweaty, you're done. With silicone, it's easier to grip, but it rips your skin. Like it's not good for sliding. And a lot of pull moves like Allegra, for example, sorry, Allegra, for example, a lot of moves require like a bit of a mini drop, a mini slide, like you slide down, you slide open, like sl there's lots of moves that require sliding, so those moves are a little bit more uncomfortable to do because the silicone's gripping your skin. I wore pants for some of them and that helped, but still, uh, so I tried to do more moves that didn't require as much sliding, and yeah, it was really, really fun, so let's do some clips here. So yeah, it was really fun. Obviously those had no audio. If you want to see like some edited audio, beautiful versions, those will be on my Instagram. Right after, I was very close to an Erewhon, so I went to go eat dinner. My husband was um, pretty tired today, he didn't sleep well, so he was like, if you're out, grab dinner. I, I had grabbed dinner and I was like, yes, and I also need to grab water. So I grabbed, um, I, as you saw, I had a hot plate. I had some sea bass, some uh, spaghetti squash and buffalo cauliflower and then like a honey rose beverage is really nice coffee this morning but i didn't drink it all and i feel a little cold so i'm just adding a little bit of hot water before i go and do my pilates for the day i've been really i'm really in my pilates princess era as people say up 
the Juve light so that I'm just getting some infrared while I'm doing my workout. This isn't the main way I use it. The main way I use it is like last night I meditated under it before bed. Like I journaled and then I meditated under it and that's kind of how I plan to use it. But I figure I'm already going to do my Pilates workout right here so why not get that extra benefit, right? of the red light you can see it kind of looks like this here like why not add it in you know like i like having a main way i'm gonna do it which is like i said although i will say i don't know if it's a coincidence i'll have to try it again because last night i used it like almost for 30 minutes i did like 10 on the front like meditating and then i sat with my back facing it and um then like i just laid kind of with like my legs open and it was tmi with it as well but, and I was so energized, like I literally couldn't fall asleep for like an hour, it felt like. So I don't know if that's like a correlation, because I know it does give you energy. But I know people, a lot of people use it before bed, I feel like. So I'll keep you posted. I do like using it like that. Otherwise, I guess I can just like meditate in front of it in the morning. Like I'll just switch the way I do it. Because I meditate in the morning and sometimes I meditate at night. So essentially like I can find a way to use it. But I just like also adding it in for things like this. It's also nice because it's portable, like I can pick it up and... I can like just you know I'm already gonna do Pilates so it's like why not just get extra red light like I'm saying I like having a main way of using it where like I sit really close I literally sit like this here <laughs> like right here because I really want the rays really close I figure there's no harm in just like having it extra right here this is officially your sign to make your life magical and put yourself out there so you're probably wondering these this the past like videos that I filmed has been essentially like a compilation of yesterday and today um yesterday my red light came or our red light came I went to flying pole I had a one-to-one -one client sessions um which I like I don't want to talk about one-to-one -one client sessions but I usually open spots every week but when you book you book on my website I reach out to you usually same day but within 24 hours and we get your schedule session session schedules <laughs> um, and then today a big realization I've had and I've noticed a pattern in clients two things one it's like romanticize your life slash make yourself the main character which I feel like we've talked about a lot but the second thing is put yourself out there like life has to meet you halfway and so many of us and myself included we get comfortable in our patterns and in our habits and in our ways and we feel stuck in order to feel inspired we have to create space this is the same thing in relationships there's a really great book on this called mating in captivity it's really amazing and I've never heard anyone have the viewpoint that this woman had it was so beautiful it was like such a unique Unique view I really recommend you just read it like I can't even explain it or like there's no point in me explaining it. you should just read it but essentially one of the premises is that space or the unknown is what excites us that's why for example when something's new or something's unknown we have so much excitement because we have like energy it's like we're artists and we have room to paint we have a fresh canvas to paint but when we've paint painting the same thing over and over and over and over and we're just handed a piece of paper and we're about to paint the same damn thing or like the painting is filled and there's no room to paint we don't feel inspired this is why when you're, you're first dating someone even in the beginning right and you're going on dates there's so much unknown do they like me do they not like me how much do they like me will we end up together what are we gonna do how is this day gonna go like it's a really great example there's so much unknown that's what excites you even like I look back at for the dates with me and my husband in the beginning like oh my god they're so fun <laughs> they're so fun now but like it's just because there was so much unknown it's like ooh, where will we go after like where will we go after that like what will happen like you know it was just there's so much unknown and that creates so much excitement and same thing in business, right? When you're creating something new, that's why whenever I'm about to launch a new course, I get so excited because it's just like there is so much space, like there's so much unknown. Like we're about to create magic. Like right now, I'm running my uh, six uh, three month money mastermind. If I'm in a nurse, is about to start. Uh, when you're watching this, it probably already started. If you're watching this and you really, really want to get in, I can make an exception. Just DM me about it, um, like as soon as possible. Uh, you'll get the recording of the one you miss, and you'll be inside same thing like so much space for magic and same thing with putting yourself out there like for me as well like i work from home i have my office at home which i love and it was like such an amazing comfort and i'm so grateful but i started realizing i was just sitting in my room my office all day every day doing my work and i was like i literally have the freedom to work from anywhere which i'm so grateful and so lucky like i could a if i want to just travel and work um but like i like I like my comforts at home, right? My husband, we have our fur baby, so I still have responsibility. But, like, I could go anywhere to work and... I was just like staying in my room. It's like so funny. It's like me can work from me. It's in the same room and desk. <laughs> and I was just like realizing like I need to 
but to like go out in the world so I started going to one of my favorite cafes like one that really lights me up like everything about it the vibes the cups like everything about it I love so I started going there to work and it's just like so inspiring like just hearing conversations with people around you it sparks inspiration just like getting fully dressed for the day like before once I wore like sweatpants five days in a row my husband was like please for the love of God, wear something else. <laughs> and like now I get dressed up every day. Like for example, right now I'm like wearing these little Fendi earrings. They're really, really cute. But at the end of the day, like even most designer jewelry, like Fendi, Gucci, Dior, it's all like costume jewelry. So it's literally just like gold plated with cubic zirconium. Like were these earrings worth $400? Like no, I love them. And I got them right before we went on our honeymoon. So they have like such an amazing association. And I love them. I don't regret them at all. But like now I'm like, I need real value. If I'm going to be buying like earrings, I better be real full gold diamonds v vvs one vvs like okay anyway um but i was like and then i'm wearing this shirt from shopo i love it i thought i should size up because i felt like it might be small because people were saying that it seemed um but i would stick to your normal size like this isn't a tube in us tube i should it's big really big on me like terms of the shoulders like you can see the shoulder seam is like low so i should have gone a us zero so if you're my size i would suggest like if in doubt I mean, stay sick to your size, but if, like, anything, I would feel more comfortable sizing down than up in it. I love it. I'm going to order it in black because <laughs> I love it so much. I was worried it was going to feel like be, like, a cheap-feeling material, so I only ordered the cream set. I was like, we'll see how it is, and if it's, like, I thought it was going to be, like, kind of thick and fake-feeling, but I really love, like, how pretty and shimmery it was. It's just, like, such... So, so my feminine vibe beach beach sexy sensual chic beach sexy sensual boho chic yeah elevated vibes <laughs> and I love it so I'm gonna order it, like I said in black but like fully getting dressed up I have like my bag tote bag packed I brought my laptop my like um my like my water my head goes and it's so funny all my stuff matches which just like looks like such a vibe like this to my outfit matches to like my laptop case to my planner to my headphones and i got this new phone case i needed one because mine like was cracking it's so cute it looks like bottega veneta i didn't even get it as like a dupe i literally just looking at amazon for like a cream phone case that was cute and like modern like i just want some kind of simple but pretty and i feel like this is like so simple and elevated like it's just a white cream case but it has like this print I'll link it down below. I really love it. It just came today and I put it on and I'm like, I feel like a bad bitch. Like everything matches. Yeah, and just putting yourself out there. Like also just like walking and seeing people and I don't know. It just, it really reminds you to like engage in the world because when you're just in your own space or in your head every day, it's the world begins to feel like that. It's like proven that something along these lines that if you go somewhere like very expansive like with a view of the mountains it makes you feel like your potential is expanded and your consciousness expands that's why whenever you see like another grand canyon or like some really like even if you've been in like in malibu or like pv posteritis like canyons and it looks so expansive it's so inspiring because it's like it like is a it's literally like a manifestation of a, the unknown or of like infinite potential or of like cosmic potential and so when you look at that it reminds you of your own kind of cosmic potential but if you're sitting in your space or your room or wherever you work wherever you normally are and you like are just in your head the be it begins to feel contracted and so your reality literally begins to energetically feel contracted even though there's so much potential and so much magic because you're like in the same headspace or same environment you begin to feel like that's all that exists so it's so important to go out there and remind yourself that like more shit exists this is my reminder to you right now to do that to like go put yourself out there like take do something i mean i, I sent this to my client yesterday every single month do something that scares you and that excites you at the same time it has to be something different every single month so for me this month I should I need to like schedule it otherwise I won't do it I'm gonna try Lyra it's kind of like a hoop I'm not gonna it doesn't scare me too much but it like excites me so like that'll be my thing um for me what else what else could I do I'll tell you what my thing every month is but I'm gonna be doing that yesterday I did flying pole which that didn't like scare me <laughs> I don't know like I'm as, for me like things that scare me are usually things that are out of my comfort zone but I'm also very chatty so I think for a lot of people like talking to people might be out of their comfort zone or like public speaking and that it doesn't scare me as much obviously I would still want to prepare if I was like public speaking and stuff 
But yeah, I definitely recommend doing something that scares you and excites you every month and put yourself out there, like whatever that means to you. Like if that means also same thing, like go somewhere new to work, go in a new environment, try a new class, like do new stuff. I also just like started, I'm gonna start going I think to like another pole studio, just like expand my energy because when you're in like the same spaces all the time and the same energy all the time, you're like limiting yourself and your life experience because everything is energy and you're essentially placing yourself in the same energetic environment consistently and and expecting there to be changes it's like in order to have a new energy like we all like we're energetic beings and the way our energy melds with everything around us creates a frequency so put yourself in new environments i mean that are aligned to create new energy like even yesterday going to a new place like um doing flying pole it created a new energy and so yeah it's kind of like my new focus is doing all of those things also this sunday again after you're watching this i think it's probably past is a new moon in pisces ceremony you can still get access to it so if you when you join um divinity you can join right now and you'll get access to both the ceremonies from this month it, the first one was an obstacle remover ceremony and the second one is the new in pisces one so if you're watching this and it's like the first few days after so if it's like the 20th to the 25th you can even do it if it's the 27th it's the most powerful if you do it for the first three to five days then join divinity so you can get that full replay but like pisces is that daydreamy state where like you're energetically in a new frequency or like in a new vibrational reality and by living in that then as aries seasons comes in it's like you're like anchoring it in and taking off like pisces season is like when you get on the plane and it's like going to the runway <laughs> and you're like already visualizing your vacation or wherever you're going and you're feeling into it and aries season is like take off so before we get into aries season energetically be anchored in the reality you want to cultivate i'm not saying this out of pressure but like yeah like anchor into the vibrational reality like live in the energy even if it's not manifested in your physical reality live in the frequency of it consistently feel it live it like almost like be delusional because as you go into air season you're going to take off in that energy so those are the things i wanted to share it's already four o'clock which is crazy i was there for like literally four hours i think three hours amazing great the only thing is like i didn't i was gonna put my headphones on and edit my youtube video there like uh, next vlog but then it was like they're closing so i was like okay i'll do that at home um i had a really nice like meal actually i wasn't expecting to even eat there i was like oh maybe i'll eat but i had like a salmon like a smoked salmon with like greens and um my those little pickles cornichons i fucking love cornichons <laughs> um and on like a buckwheat bread with like um, which is like not, I mean, Ezekiel would have been better, but, or like a gluten free bread, but whatever. Um, some gluten free bread isn't the best, like, I feel like the stuff that's added in it anyway, but with like a salad, and then I had like an Americano, and it was like really great. I mean, I didn't finish the whole Americano because I had a coffee before, but like, I kind of had to order a coffee to like sit there. I feel like I could have just gotten the salad right away, but because I sat, okay, so I sat down and I didn't want food yet, so like, I feel like obviously if I'm gonna work on my laptop there, also at first, like, they didn't let anyone work on their laptop because it was really busy. So cute, this girl's dog literally looks okay. Everywhere I go now, my friend got a burner doodle. I, t I, it's so funny. I always, I like, I always tell him, like, I, t I tell her, you're my best friend. <laughs> um, but she got a burner doodle, and now everywhere I go, I swear I see like what looks like something that looks similar to her dog. My husband and I went to Whole Foods the other day, and I swear it was her dog. And there was a guy, it was a guy with her dog, and I was like, does she have a secret man that's like taking her dog to Whole Foods? Like, how crazy. I literally came up to him, <laughs> I was like, hello, sir. Like, um, what's your dog's name? Like, this looks just like my friend's dog. And, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't my friend's secret man. It really was his dog, but it's crazy, like, uncanny, the coincidence. And also, like, Mia and Chloe, her dog's name's Chloe, met. And Mia gets so defensive, because only, not at Chloe, but when, like, me or my husband pet her, she gets so triggered. I don't know, does anyone else dog do that? Like, if I pet another dog in front of Mia, Mia looks at me like, do you want to live another day?